Okay. We're on? We're on. Core stabilization assessment. Uh, we're going to use this stabilizer tool from the Chattanooga group to do a core stability assessment. If you don't have this, a regular blood pressure cuff will work just fine, but we're going to practice using this one today. There are limitless variations of this. We're going to go through just a few that we can use. It's all going to start out by placing this around our low back and uh, making sure that the dial is cranked up tight enough and getting the person in the ideal alignment and then teaching them to do the drawing and maneuver to hold it there. So I'm going to jump ahead relatively quickly. I'm going to get this right underneath the low back. Once it's under the low back, we're going to have someone find their neutral position at their lumbar spine. Once they're in neutral, then we'll go ahead and inflate the cuff until it gets up to number 60. So number 60 and then HGC. Once they're at 60, then we're going to have them do the drawing in maneuver. And with the drawing in maneuver, it will help to bring the meter up to 70. And the goal for them is to keep that needle as close as they can to the number 70. It's going to indicate that they're maintaining engagement of the transverse abdominis and that the lumbar spine is staying as still as possible. So once they're in neutral and then they're drawn in, they're going to begin to move in arms. So let's just say I'm holding my left arm hand, I'm moving my right arm. This is a small challenge to the core stabilizers. We'll try each side. So you can grade them on pass fail on the right arm, pass fail for the left arm. Someone passes is if they stay within four of the notches on either side of the 70. If they pass that successfully, the next progression you go to is a lower extremity, which is heavier. We could start off by just simply lifting one leg up with a hip flexion, knee flexion, and then dorsal flexion of the ankle. And then more importantly, can they decelerate and lower it down? It's very difficult to do for most folks. And then we'll do the other side. So you can do a pass or fail on right, left. And if they do well there, we'll go to the next level. The next level is we're going to bring both legs up in the air, keep that neutral position of the spine, abdominal drawn in, and lower down one leg at a time. Again, trying to keep that dial as close as you can to number 70 within four ticks on either side of the 70. Now, if someone's really a rock star and doing well, you can do a double leg lowering as well, but for most people, they won't, won't be able to get that. So the goal, get someone neutral, do the drawing in maneuver, keep that dial as close to 70 as you can. We want the pass would indicate that they would stay within four clicks of 70 on either side of it. A fail would be as they went outside of that. It's going to help keep awareness of core stabilization and drawing in maneuver and uh, just teaching people to have some control over the center of their body.